welcome back to a freaky, fun, flawless, what are we going to call it? Fabulous <laughs> Friday. Well, we're still workshopping the name of it, but we decided, or I don't, what, chicken and cheese we talked about posting more? Yes. And so we decided to give her a little go. This is going to be our first Friday post. We're probably not going to do this regularly. We might do it like twice a month. Yeah. We'll post a third video. Just but to... right now we're really ahead on our video, so we figured it would be the per perfect opportunity to film an extra one for this month. Let us know what you think about it, if you're excited that there's more content. Uh -huh. And also, which ad adverb, adjective we should use for Friday. For Friday? Fun. Freaky. Fabulous. Fun loving. Wait, what? Free, what was the one that we were going to say? What? Free for all Friday. <laughs> free for all Friday. <laughs> free for all Friday was just us going, ah! yeah, letting loose. <laughs> Do we continue with our intro? Yes, sorry. It's your favorite dynamic duo, B Mars. And Jandy. And we're eating something extra special today, which is, is bagel box and cream cheese. So, cream cheese is the box. But yeah, so we have, um, you're going to include the recipe, right? Yeah. So Chantal made these fabulous. Knockoff locks. It's made out of tomato, and I'll just cut over to the quick montage of how to make this right now. I wanted to make sure I included this recipe for you guys if you want to make it. So. All right, so first you need six Roma tomatoes for this recipe. I'm using five because I don't like to follow instructions. To peel the skin off really easily, I dunked them in boiling water for one minute and then dropped them in an ice bath, and the skin peels off super easily, as you can see here. They are naked tomatoes now. Next, I'm just cutting them in half and scooping out all the seeds and the hard center portion in the middle. For the marinade, I'm using three tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of avocado oil, you could use any oil you want, one teaspoon of water, I added more in the end because it wasn't enough water, one teaspoon of liquid smoke, and the recipe called for kelp powder, but I didn't have that so I just crumbled up a few sheets of seaweed snack and it gave it the same flavor effect. Here I am just whisking all the ingredients together and then I poured it over the tomatoes. And as I said before, I felt like this wasn't enough liquid to coat the tomato, so I splashed in a few extra tablespoons of water. I also ended up cutting the tops and bottoms off the tomatoes to make them more flat instead of round. And I let it sit in the fridge for about one hour. We also have an everything bagel, a regular bagel, mm -hmm. some vegan cream cheese called Daya. Daya? 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 And we then got we all have, the fixins. Uh, onions, capers. Chives? What are those? These are chives. Okay. Oh god. And lemons. I never put lemon on my... Where they go before? At my... I used to work at a cafe and they would always... People would always ask for a side of lemon. They're like, where's my lemon? Where's your attitude adjustment? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, you always think of the right thing to say. <laughs> but that gets me fired. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm really actually upset. I meant to buy the Kite Hill cream cheese. It's literally so amazing. And I bought the Daya one. It was like right next to the Kaya. I don't know what the hell was going through my mind, but... Well, isn't this at like 6 a.m.? No, I bought it um, when I got the Tofurky. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was overwhelmed with Tofurky. May she rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and on the side? We are also drinking some Yerba Mates. I have the Classic Gold. I have um, Revel, Revel Berry. Berry. These are my two favorite. Really? Yours is bubbly, mine is just like flat. Usually I'm afraid to try anything sparkling that's not soda because I don't like soda water, but I had a sip of Shanti's the other day and it tastes like Coca-Cola. Yeah, it literally does. And it, which is really exciting for me because I try not to drink soda. So it's giving me my fix. Yeah, that one's my favorite, the classic gold bubbly. Um, I've been actually trying to cut out caffeine, but you know, you gotta splurge once in a while, you know what I'm saying? I just really enjoy the flavor. If it didn't have caffeine, I would still drink it. You know? Yeah, it is really good. And I don't think it's too bad for you. Like, isn't it like tea and stuff? Yeah. If you guys want to sponsor us here, but wherever you are, then I'll learn more about your product. We're big fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's basically tea and sugar. Perfect. A little bit. It's lightly sweetened. Should we get to banging, fixing the bagels? Yeah. I'm excited. So are these supposed to taste like locks or just like look like the texture of locks or? So I actually tried a little piece and by the way, I found this recipe from Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. 
Um, she did like a recipe taste test. It's not her recipe. It's like someone else's recipe. I think it's on Peta's website. Um, but it's funny because I actually don't like salmon. Like I'm not a big fish person. Yeah. Um, you like lox? But I like sushi. No, I don't like lox. Oh. But I think I like vegan lox because I like tomatoes. Yeah, and the texture isn't really similar to lox, but the flavor is kind of. Hmm. That's probably good. It's like the texture of fish that's like so like fatty and mushy. Yeah, but it's funny because I like sushi, but I think it's because I love like rice and all the flavorings. So it kind of like yeah makes up for the fish. The camera was still playing with uh, his new toys <gasps> at the bottom. Oh my god! So if you guys aren't following me on IG. Instagram, I did a poll yesterday about what new toys I should get my cats, and I ended up getting them these little fries and then a hamburger. They and love them so much. He loves it. It's so cute to watch him play with his fridge. Oh, he, he just like walks it. it away. I swear he liked it. It's funny because sometimes we'll bring them home toys and they don't play with them. Yeah. But these ones they like loved. Kyra loves squishy. Kyra's also the fastest. Cat with like needles for nails. I know. So if he gets you, literally bleed. Playing with him this morning. I don't know if you can see that because their ring light is so bright, but I am currently bleeding. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to. Sorry. No, go ahead. I'm gonna lay her on the box. This is what she looks like. Can I hold it up with my finger? Yeah. Okay. It's just made out of aroma tomato. <laughs> So, Brittany just told me that you're supposed to smash it together like a sandwich. That's what I thought. But I was planning on eating it like this. But I think that you're right. I can't wait to eat this. I already ate this half of my bagel because I was starving. Sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna smush mine. Okay. Because I feel like it's all gonna spill out. Oh, I did it upside down. I'm really good at bagels. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat mine like a half. That's okay. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow, it just tastes like lox. Really? Yeah. I'm shocked. Like the flavor? Yeah. Wow. Have you ever had a lox? I've never had a bagel lox sandwich, but I've tried like lox like smoked salmon on its own. Oh my god, I'm so surprised right now. Mm -hmm. My cat Cairo right now is literally playing fetch. Bring it. Can we throw it? So oh. if we're throwing a cat toy in the middle of this, <laughs> that's why. It's because he deserves attention at all times. He's having so much fun. So this is the, the toys. <sighs> Let me see if I can get him to come on the side. Okay, anyway, sorry. Back to the bang. Um, so I think what makes it taste the same flavor is it has um, liquid smoke. Remember we even made the bacon? Mm -hmm. It just gives it the smoky flavor and then it's a really simple recipe. Um, Cause it's not like fishy, but if salmon is good, it doesn't taste fishy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's fresh. So it tastes like really fresh salmon. Oh, it looks so good. It never will focus. Mmm, this is so good. Wow. Ow! I bit my feet. Ow! That's the worst. So, it just makes me want to focus on breakfast more. Breakfast bangs, you mean? Well, or breakfast bangs, life. but like in life. Like, I feel like I just wake up and I'm so tired and all I ever eat is cereal. Mm -hmm. But this is such a nice treat. It is a nice treat. So, before we, um, to get too far along in his bang, since B Mars is usually the story time teller, it's my turn to tell a story time. Mm -hmm. I um, made a notes thing in my phone with all the story times I could tell. And I feel like I just don't ever like to talk about. I'm usually that quiet. I don't like. All of my stories are when I was like a freshman in college, like not my proudest moments. <laughs> but that's what makes them funny. It's just I you're feel a stupid like kid. It makes me seem like trashy. <laughs> I want people to think that I'm still like that. That was literally seven years ago for you, six years ago. Yeah. Like obviously you've grown as a person. True. Yeah. I just don't want them to reflect this upon me. So, my freshman year. 
<laughs> I was absolutely crazy. <laughs> I feel like everyone is. Yeah, as egg, all freshmen are. Um, Unless you just hate your life. Yeah, I feel like... And just like super like outgoing. Just like wanted to make friends. Mm -hmm. Made friends with this one girl. And she invited me to a Halloween party. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so cool. I'm a little freshman going to a upperclassman party. Mm -hmm. And it was off campus at someone's house. And I only knew her, my friend that was there. I didn't know any of the other like upperclassmen. There wasn't like any other freshmen there, mm -hmm. at least in the beginning. I think freshmen came like later because they had like heard about, about, it. about it. Yeah. But uh, so I was with all of her friends trying to make a good impression. And also, I should preface freshman year. I went through this terrible, terrible phase of just like blacking out every single night, no matter like. I feel like once you're in that cycle, it's so easy to like continue to black out every night, you know? Yeah. Well, it was almost like and we were the just, norm. Yeah. You know, I remember like chugging straight vodka and like, or like taking shots of vodka and just like getting warm orange juice from the cafeteria. Literally disgusting. Like, I'd rather not drink now than do that. Like, we would just finish handles of vodka. Sorry, mm -hmm. family members, if you're watching this. But I mean, I. Obviously, like, that was the norm, like, people would do that, but I feel like your brain, like, even though I would drink less, I would still black out every time. Like, I couldn't not black out, you know what I mean? Weird. Like, my brain just would, like, shut off every night. <laughs> it was, like, wait, ready to go. It was trying to, like, preserve its energy to, like, save my body from, like, not okay. having a heart attack. <laughs> Anyways, so I am blackout. Party's going great. Meeting some new friends. Having a blast. Long story short, I don't really remember much. Um, but I woke up, no, I woke up in my friend's bed. I was like, wow, how the hell did I get here? And, you know, <laughs> and you know, <laughs> I woke up in her room in Lawrence Hall. I was like, what the hell's going on? So you woke up in a completely different person's room? Woke up in a completely different person's room. They had saved me that night because I got kicked out of the party. And they came to my rescue and took me home. And the reason I got kicked out is because I made out with the girl's house boyfriend. The, the host party. of the party's boyfriend. Yes. Like, the house that we were at, <laughs> her boyfriend, I made out with at the party <laughs> as a little stupid freshman. Were they actually dating at that point? They weren't, okay. They, they were, were, like, on and off for four years. They were, I'm sure he wouldn't make out with me if they were together. Like, mm, they were... Really? He might have, yeah. I was talking to my friend. I was like, wait, what happened? Like, why didn't I stay over with you? She's like, you got kicked out of the party. Like, I had to ask you to leave. I was like... Well, that's kind of shitty of your friend to just, like, let you go. She's but like, she was also better friends with the person's house it was, you know? Oh, like they were like they're best friends. And I was just like her friend. New friend from school. Yeah, she's like, get that <laughs> out of here. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, I felt so bad about that. And then I probably should have stopped drinking after that, but I never did. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely didn't freshman year. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. So yeah, it's my story time. I remember um, there was this basketball player that really liked me. And I was just like not about it at all. And then I got drunk one night and I made out with him and I don't remember. Um, and the next day he like thought we were dating. Oh god. And then I was like, I so I had to break up with him when I didn't even remember kissing him. You were like, listen. <laughs> I was like, just don't worry. <laughs> and he like, I remember him like literally getting angry at me for breaking up with him. And I was like, I don't even remember making out with you. Like, yeah, this isn't fair. Maybe he asked you out while you were. Like, like drunk. Shit -faced. You said yes. Yeah. <laughs> he probably like found me found me weak and yeah. Like <laughs> when you're vulnerable. Yeah. The cat is in the table. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to get him out of the table before he like attacks me. Oh my god! <laughs> Come out. Come here. Let me throw it. Anyway, sorry, we're getting distracted by cats. I'm just so happy that they're happy with the toys because sometimes our toys are huge fails and sometimes they're not. Mm -hmm. They have something they don't even touch. But that guy, honestly, I know that guy, the one that you made out with and don't remember. Yeah. And he was making out with lots of people. It's one of those scenarios where it's like, I feel like, you know how they always say like, if, if like someone cheats on someone, the cheaty, like it's blamed, but really like if you're in a relationship or like interested in like somebody and then you go make out with somebody else, it should be on him. Yeah. Clearly like you like, pr like probably were just like drunk and like, oh, a hot boy. 
But like if he's been talking to this girl like he's gonna date her and then goes makes makes out with someone else, that guy should have been the one getting the blame, not you. Right. I feel like that's a huge problem with society. Yeah, like, like why is it's, it's always the, the girl's fault. Yeah, it's always the girls or it's always the person that like Homewrecker? Homewrecker! It's always the homewrecker's fault, but it's like, no, really. Your husband it is the home's fault. Yeah. <laughs> because he shouldn't be cheating on you. Like right. it's a huge thing. Like people hit on loved you. Yeah. People hit on Max all the time. People hit on me all the time. It's on us to not cheat on our significant other. Right. Because people are going to make advances. And if you don't aren't really into the relationship with that person, if you don't really love them, then you should break up with them and not cheat on them. Yeah. I'm a hundred percent with that. Yeah. Do you think I'm a terrible person? No. I think you were drunk freshman. I think that's every like girl who had a social life in college and like drank has one of those stories. Probably every guy too. Now that I think about it. I'm full. Actually I bit the inside of my cheek so hard that now it hurts to eat. Aww. Okay. Holy shit. You did some damage. Yeah, it really hurts. It's like it's like this big inside my cheek. Right? Yeah. I bit the whole thing. You have two like blood blisters. Great. And the rest is like raw. Well, I'll do the banging. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep drinking. Um, it really hurt. So yeah, let me know if you want to hear some more tragic let, let stories. Let us know. I think a huge problem, like you said earlier, is you're always afraid that people are going to think we're trashy. Yeah. Do you guys enjoy our funny like childhood stories or I guess not childhood because we were children but like college high school like tragic stories that are like tragic you know could be on sitcoms but if you think they make us look trashy and you'd rather us talk about what's happening nowadays like real that we're like things. adults <laughs> we can talk about those too so let us know if you think we're making ourselves look bad or you're enjoying the good laugh at our expense yeah because I think that if people tell you that they don't judge you it'll make you Feel better? Feel like less concerned about it. Yeah. yeah. I just, I feel like most people don't know, or especially like my family doesn't know that side of me at all, so it's weird to like talk about, yeah, talk I about know. it, you know? Like if my mom ever watched this, I would, she'd probably cringe so hard. I know. My, my parents don't know, but they kind of know, like, did I ever tell the story about when I got caught with alcohol in my room as no. a freshman? You should tell that, like, oh wait, no, you told it to me. I don't know about that then. I would tell this on a different bang. Yeah, you should save it. We could do each- on Fridays we could be story time days. Mmm. That should be our thing. Too bad but that's not like an alliteration anyway. Yeah. Story time Fridays. Fantasy. <laughs> Forum Fridays. I'm like trying to think of like- I don't know. I feel like I could still eat. Being creative is hard. I feel like I have to- I'm, <laughs> I feel like the only thing I can eat is like pudding or something. I wish I could show the camera my mouth. I really took a chunk out. <laughs> Are you going to eat cream cheese? <laughs> I'm just eating it straight out of soup. And bagels are like hard to eat, it's like tough. Yeah, it's like ripping me inside my mouth. I'm trying to, I'm like thinking about the rest of my day right now, like, I guess I'll have soup for lunch. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Ice cream for dinner. I have to burp. Uh, oh wait, well should we just say bye? Yeah, I think we're, we're hitting that 20 minutes. Well, I'm going to give this bagel to Colin. And I'm gonna go get some soup. <laughs> I know. If you ever see us not finish our food, trust me, somebody is finishing it. We for never us. waste anything. Yeah. Um, if you like our new fun Fridays, Freaky Fridays, Fabulous Fridays, Fantasy Fridays, Storytime Fridays, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let us know in the comments below if you. I think it's adjective. We should use that starts with an F to go on Fridays because we feel like, you know, Mukbang Monday, whatever Wednesday. We just have to keep that theme going. Yeah. I'm all about the themes. Also, let us know if you want story time videos or if you want us to talk about like current topics in the world. Yeah, and if you think it looks trashy when you talk about when we get used to drink all the time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I still drink a lot. You don't really, but yeah, I don't really drink besides like a cup of wine at the house. But, but yeah, let us know what you think. Oh, what should we do for our new sign up? Wait, Friday, 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 Monday, Wednesday. Wait, is this backwards? Is that backwards? I think that's pretty good. Here, let us know what you guys <laughs> think of this app. This is an app. Fun, fun Fridays app.